What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an affordable makeup look. It has been a long time since I've done a video that was all affordable products, drugstore products, and today I'm giving it to you guys. So I was really inspired to do this look when I came across ColourPop's new orange Euglad palette. And I set this aside about a week and a half ago and told myself I'm going to film a look with this. As I started to kind of gather products for it, I realized half of them were drugstore. So I decided to dedicate the whole video to only using drugstore products. Now, quick disclaimer, the lashes, brushes, and my beauty blender are the only thing that were not drugstore. I did not have anything else on hand, so please forgive me for that. But nonetheless, the whole look is affordable, and I hope you guys are super excited about it. So with that being said, if you guys are excited for today's look, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. And without further ado, do let's get into today's video. Who is excited for this video? Oh, oh, who is excited for this video? Oh, oh. So guys, I'm really excited for today's look. I love playing with you makeup, but I love it even more when I'm really excited and really inspired. And these parts right here have me very, very pumped, very, very thrilled. Not to mention this Nitro Cold Brew ain't playing. It's like in my blood right now. Oh. I felt cracked out, I feel great. I'm gonna start off with some skincare, and today we're using two new skincare products from e.l.f. Cosmetics, and this is their Jelly Pop collection. So the first one is the Water Gel Moisturizer, and then the Dewy Primer. I'm actually really intrigued with this whole collection. I think the packaging and branding around this was really, really cute, but also I love the presentation, and I love what it claims to do. So this is a watermelon-infused jelly. It has a unique jelly texture that gives you lasting sheer color, dewy skin, healthy glow. It says it's really great if you have skin hangovers, which is me every day of my life, whether I'm drinking or not, my skin's always pretty dehydrated. So I did four pumps because it has, the pumps are kind of um, little. So I just did four of them and it looks like jelly, but it is more of like, I don't know how to explain it. So I'm gonna work this into my skin. And this definitely feels different than what I'm used to. And it almost feels like I'm working water in my skin. I feel this is really great for anybody who has probably normal to oily skin. Someone on the drier side, I do feel like I need a little bit more hydration, a little bit more cream, but it doesn't feel bad at all. So next I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dewy Primer. Now this is one that I was very, very intrigued to because I always love finding new primers. And again, the whole jelly look to this and the vibe of it, I'm really into. Now this is more what I was expecting the moisturizer to feel like. You see how it's a little bit more sticky? That's what I was expecting the moisturizer to feel like. But we'll see how this one works. Okay, love the texture of this one. Feels almost like the grip primer for milk. Has like a nice tacky touch to it. And it does leave you really nice and dewy. I am about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my skin absorb all the goods I just put in it right now. Come back to my face a little later in case you guys are new to my channel and don't know how I work. Normally it's skincare, eyebrows, eyes, then face. So we'll come back to this a little later, but we're gonna move now into brows. And today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow pomade. I have used this many times on my channel and I tag this one a lot. I have to say guys, this is the best drugstore brow pomade out there. It's so, so good. So I've just been really loving this. It works really nice on my eyebrows. I love it so much. And I use the shade uh, Deep Brown. So I'm pretty much gonna show you guys on one brow how I like to fill them in because two brows, it takes so much work. This fucking fly. I love to start like mainly towards the tail of my brow and I just sketch it on and I just go ahead and do light strokes. By doing that, it mimics the look of real eyebrow hair versus it looking stenciled on. And then one thing I do too is I always just, you know, put it on the palm of my hand and then work it with the brush to get it on both sides so it's nice and even. And I just lightly work it all over. I mean, if like everyone's brows are so different, you gotta follow your own brow pattern. But I find for me, and just overall through the years of my brows, the more I sketch, the better I like them. I think it's less harsh on my face and it just is more appealing. Now, one thing I love about this pomade in particular is that it lasts so long. It literally 
is a product that doesn't fade through the day, doesn't move, and it also doesn't change by the end of the day. I don't know if you guys have ever used a, like a brow pencil, a brow product, and it's like great in the morning, by the end of the day, it's just like this blob of color. It just changes, you know? This one, it's like once you make that stroke or the initial application, it's gonna stay there, it's not gonna move, which is why they called it Tattoo Studio, because it's supposed to stay and not move. Towards the front is where I like to get very, one second. <laughs> so towards the front of the brow is where I really just like to flick it on because I feel like right here is where it needs to be the softest, and that looks good. Don't worry about that, we're gonna clean it up in a minute, and then it's gonna look a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eyebrow now, but I'm gonna speed it up because this takes forever. And then now I'm just gonna go in with a spoolie and just kind of brush everything together. This softens it up, but also just kind of fills in any gaps that I may have. It always looks really, really crazy harsh at first. And then right at the front too, I do that and I'll lighten it up just a little bit. So I'm now gonna go in with another e.l.f. product and this is their 16 hour camo concealer. I've talked to you guys about this before. Definitely one to not sleep on. Tons of coverage, lasts for a long time. And I'm gonna use the shade Tan Sand. Now I got a lot of questions last time I talked about this on my Instagram, I believe, in regards to how I felt about it. Some people said that they experienced a lot of drying. So if you are on the drier side, I would definitely recommend packing up on some eye cream. Um, definitely eye cream is gonna improve the way it wears and the way it looks because I know people said that it was really drying or it cracked on them, so try to do that. If you're still having that issue, then it might be a little bit too dry for you. So far, I've not had any issues with it. I absolutely love the way it goes on, but again, I hydrate, I prime, I do tons of eye cream. So I really prep the skin so it creates that barrier of moisture and hydration. So when I put products on, it lays on really nicely. You know, sometimes things just happen, fly, real life. So next we're gonna move into the eyeshadow and today we're gonna be using ColourPop's Orange You Glad palette. I am super obsessed with these palettes from ColourPop. If you guys are into monochromatics, you're gonna love these because you get all of the most beautiful orange shades in one. So let's get into today's look because I don't know what I'm gonna do, but what I do know is that I really wanna play with this color right here. It kinda reminds me of a craft glitter in a way, but it's nice and chunky, so I'm definitely gonna be using that shade, maybe this one underneath, but I kinda wanna do a really blown out orange look cut the crease so I will have to use my P. Louise even though it's not a drugstore I need it to cut we need it so I'm gonna work in first with the shade rise and grind it's kind of like one of the brighter ones in there I'm gonna start this right in the center of the eye I'm gonna just go really in today are you guys noticing that I'm not blending out just yet so I could always do it that way but I want to try it this way to see if we get a better blend so I'm pretty much just packing on the shade onto the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next eye. So starting right in the center again. And you can see the brush is just working left, right, and then it's also working just kind of in place. I'm not blending it out. I'm not trying to go in circular motion just yet. I'm just really trying to pack it on as much as I can. So next I'm gonna touch into the shade Yapil Me which is a little bit more of like a tangerine color. And I'm grabbing out a clean brush and I am simply gonna go over the first one. We're working this to be the transition color. And now I'm gonna work it kind of into the brow bone. I'm just gonna work it above. And don't worry about how this line looks, we're gonna blend that out in just a moment. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Creamsicle. And this is a little bit more on the warmer side and I'm just gonna make this the main outer color, like the main transition color you're gonna see. I'm not trusting my blending today, guys. I think my blending's kind of shit right now. It actually doesn't look bad. I think it's just on camera. It looks kind of weird, because in person it actually looks really, really good. It was something about doing it the way I was trying to do it made it a little more difficult. Maybe I won't do it again. So next I'm gonna grab the shade Clementine, and this is a burnt orange, a little bit on the softer route, and I'm going to take this into the crease and then just doing this to add definition and a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna go now into cutting the grease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start packing it up as well. And then I'm now gonna tap it into the side. This is like so, so, so important right here so that it doesn't look like a crazy line of demarcation. And then before I move into adding the crease color, I'm gonna go back in with Rise and Grind. I like to just pack over it. No need to really blend. You're just tapping into there and it should just kind of start to seamlessly blend on its own for you. I'm not gonna grab a little bit of clementine as well. 
Clementine. All right, so for the crease color, guys, we're gonna go in with Squeeze Me and Sunkiss. So I'm mixing those two because this is very, very chunky, so I feel with this one, I will have the issue of fallout or not being opaque enough to fill in the whole eye. So I'd rather do this one and then top it with Sunkissed. Now, feel me? So grab, squeeze, and you can spray your brush if you want to, but I feel we have a really good base on, so we are good. Yep, we're good to go. Tap, 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 and then lightly into where the crease is at. Straight up, look at the difference. What the f I gotta take a photo of this. I'm shook at what cutting a crease can do. I'm gonna grab this little glitter from the Makeup Shack. It is called Crystal Copper, and I'm gonna just mix it on the back of my hand. So I am just simply dispersing the product throughout the eye, right? And then now I'm picking up Sun Kiss. Con mi dedo, with my finger. I'm going to tap it right over, and that will kind of play as a base for it. Ooh, I'm glad I did this look. All right, I'm gonna go move on to the next eye and just kind of lightly talk you guys through it again, and hopefully it looks the same. I'm one of those that personally likes to work one eye at a time. I know some people have to do both eyes, but I have to do one eye at a time to really perfect it and make sure I like how everything looks. That way, when I go in with the next eye, there's no hiccups. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have not been using my really tight lens in a while for my makeup looks, and that is because we let actually a friend borrow it and haven't got it back from her yet, but I am planning on picking it up sometime this week. I'm so used to doing my eye tutorials pretty close up, but um, in my next video, I will have it for you guys. So next, we're gonna go into some mascara, and we're gonna be using the Maybelline Big Shot. This is still one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. It's been a while since I used it, but I figured today is a day to put it to use. I tested out a couple new Maybelline ones that they came out with. I think it was the Colossal. They had like four or five of them, but they didn't give me what the Big Shot does. So I love this one because it adds tons of fullness. It leaves your lashes very, very dark, but there is absolutely zero fallout or transfer. It doesn't smudge or move once it's on. So that to me is a plus because I cannot be having the mascara flaking and getting everywhere. So I really like this one. If you guys have a favorite drugstore one that you think I need to check out, let me know. I always love finding new mascaras. At the moment, like I have, I have definitely my favorites that I love but you know it's always good to find different ones when i was in high school though i think i told you guys before i used to be obsessed with the l'oreal voluminous that one was my favorite this part was brass and then the bottle was gray and i would use it in the carbon color and it was my absolute favorite i've always been kind of a mascara junkie anything that has an extremely big stiff wand does not work for me anything that is really really skinny like not tapered in between it does not work for me it does nothing to them, it just makes them blah. I also find that waterproof flakes on me a lot, so I avoid any kind of waterproof mascara. There's so many mascaras out there that I still have yet to try, but at the moment, I just know what I like. So I'm gonna use today the Batty Bee Lashes. Again, these are not drugstore, I'm so sorry guys. I failed you on that part, and it's my fault for not preparing myself, but you are supporting a Latina-owned business, and on top of that, these are bomb lashes. We are gonna go with Saucy. I'm gonna go and pop these babies on. I'm ready for some face makeup. And today we're gonna be using Maybelline's Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup with SPF 50. This is a antioxidant enriched pollution protection makeup. It says to have full coverage in here and I'm gonna go in with the shade 228 Soft Tan which I tried it out when I was with them in the Hamptons and it seemed to match. We're gonna go ahead and apply this right in this area right here. Definitely very lightweight and very airy and I love, 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 love the color. So this foundation also is said to protect your skin against like environmental stressors and then all the pollution. It also, again, has SPF 50, which is a must. Kind of smells like the suntan lotion too which I don't mind it because I love the smell of that. And it does leave more of a luminous finish on the skin, which I don't mind either. I'm gonna just hit my forehead a little bit with the Kabuki brush and just kind of tap it where I need the coverage. So there we have it for the foundation. You guys can see it does leave you a very luminous finish on the skin. Coverage is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's full, 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 full coverage. It's pretty full, more of a medium to full. 
but overall it does leave a really nice luminous glow to the skin which i feel that comes from the spf now if you're on the more oily side and you do want to try this out i definitely recommend applying on a mattifying primer underneath or something that is going to really grip the makeup and i just realized now that i used the dewy one so dewy and this probably made it look like this but again if you are somebody who does struggle with like an oily t-zone or you have larger pores definitely make sure to take care of those areas first and then try this so moving on now to the concealer i'm going to go back in with my elf camo concealer in the shade tan sand now i use a couple different shades from them i have medium sand i also have medium peach i also have light tan and today i'm kind of just in the mood to wear this color by the way i applied it onto my hand i have actually been really liking applying things on with a brush lately i don't know what it is but i feel like it disperses more product and after playing it on i'm just going to buff it out and i just realized this is not drugstore sorry and then now i'm going to pick up um a clean kind of dual fiber brush and go along the sides of it and start buffing it out this is like a really nice way to clean up the sides of your shadow but not necessarily make it look too sharp it just buffs everything out so I went ahead and added a little bit of the medium peach just to brighten it up. Like I literally just like two drop, mixed it in with the other one and blend it away. I don't want too much. I don't want it to be too, too bright. I just needed that a little bit more brightness. All right, there we go on the face portion of the makeup. We're gonna go into setting and bronzing and all that in a moment. I'm gonna go really quickly back in with the brush and do a little bit of smoking underneath. So I'm gonna pick up Rise and Grind and Clementine and kind of mix those two together to create like one color. And I'm just gonna go tap this right underneath of my eye. And then from there, I'm gonna grab Creamsicle and Rise and Grind with a kind of a buffing brush and I'm gonna tap right over. I am gonna actually really smoke out underneath, I think today. It's been a while since I've done that, but I'm kind of in the mood for that look. Tap a little bit of the orange again right over now with the pencil brush. This just kind of smokes it out a little bit, makes it not look like such a harsh line. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this Milani Metallics eyeliner in the shade brown. I thought it was just really pretty and soft. Anytime I do any kind of oranges, I feel like I prefer to have softer tone eyeliners nothing black otherwise i feel like it's just halloween you know on my eyes and i'm not ready for that just yet speaking of halloween how many of you guys are excited i don't know what it is but i love 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 october october is one of my favorite months i don't know what the connection is but i love that month and i love the tones and everything behind it so i'm actually really really excited i have no Halloween looks in mine guys. I literally struggle every year like I am the worst when it comes to Halloween But I do want to do some looks. I say that don't hold me accountable, but I want to so I'm putting it on the universe that I make time for it Um, actually beginning of September is gonna be my last trip of the year And after that I'm staying home. So I'm gonna have a lot of free time So I have to definitely make it happen. All right guys I'm gonna go in now with the ColourPop no filter sheer press powder in the shade medium dark it says medium dark, but it's actually really not that dark. I'm simply just gonna be setting my T-zone area and underneath on my eyes. And then press it with like a nice firm blending brush. I'm going as close as I can. All right, moving on now to some bronzer. I'm gonna use L'Oreal's new Bronze Please bronzer in the shade La Tierra, which I love that name. But I also love the detailing on this. It's a really pretty bronzer. I'm doing this with the Morphe 143 brush. This is one of my favorites to bronze with. It just hits the face in the right spots, you know? Oh, that's really nice, love that. So I always hit my hairline first because I feel like I need to make this area a little bit more smaller. And what I like too is that this brush just slightly feathers it throughout my entire face, so it's easy to frame it versus some brushes you kind of have to like really work it in and then it won't apply the product the way you want it to. And then now I'm just gonna go along the sides of my cheeks to give me a little bit more chiseled cheekbones, bronzy as well. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did not do an additional powder because I didn't have a affordable powder, a setting one. So I will definitely have to find one soon. If you guys have any good translucent setting powders that you like to bake with that are drugstore or on the affordable price, let me know. The only one I had that was the cheapest one was honestly the Kylie and it was 24, which I feel like this is still a little too expensive um, to be considered like in the affordable makeup. But you guys let me know. I love this bronzer, ooh. I don't know if you guys know, but I have somebody in my beauty room right now. He is a bomb ass makeup artist, love makeup artist, guys, and he's watching me, and I'm kind of nervous right now. <laughs> We're gonna actually play with makeup after I'm done with myself, and I cannot wait. Ethan is always really busy, guys. He like barely has time for his own mama. So the fact that you're here, I'm kind of shocked right now. <laughs> so then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Paradise Blush in the shade 
This is fantastical. So this isn't a new blush. This one is, and I was gonna use this one from Rimmel, but this is a little bit more pink while this one's more peach. And I feel this kind of just goes more with the vibes that we're going on the whole monochromatic vibe. So I'm gonna use it for that reason. And I'm just gonna hit right on the apples. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I went ahead and did my mascara off camera to let it dry down a little bit. There we have it for the complexion, but we are missing one last thing and that is some highlights. So I'm gonna use today the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Highlight. I was gonna use my Maybelline Molten Gold, but I always use that one, so I wanted to switch it up and show you guys a different highlight. This one's from Wet n Wild. These are so impressive and so nice. So I'm gonna be using that one for that reason. And then before I go into that, I'm gonna set my skin really quickly with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So I love to set after I do powders. I love doing this technique because I find that the powders are just grab onto the skin better and then the highlight just looks more popping. It really stands out versus over layering powder, powder, and powder. Sometimes the highlight won't shine as much as you want it to. So, little tip. I'm gonna go in now with this highlight. See how just a little bit goes a long way with that? I love hitting the forehead area because I like to have a little bit of glow up there. And then as always, down the bridge of my nose. And a very important tip to know guys, when I apply this on, I'm holding the brush almost like a pencil and lightly feathering it. If you do that, it's gonna give you more of an airbrush type of highlight versus if I go like this, it's very harsh, it's gonna stamp it on and it's gonna look intense. So uh, again, we're just tapping. And what I like doing too is after I put it on, I like kind of blending it into the shadow. Something about having highlight right in this, this little like crease area, I feel like looks like it's coming from within. You know, it doesn't just stop. All right, lastly, we are gonna finish off this look with a lip color. So I'm gonna be using this little lippy stick duo from ColourPop. It is called you're so appealing. And there are two shades in here, so it's kind of cute because you get them together. And these are the shades right here. So one is a really pretty kind of brownish nude, and then the second one is orange. Now normally with this kind of look, I would do this nude, but I do so many nudes, and it's time for a change. So I'm gonna be doing the, oh my God, it's called Chi Chi. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the Chi Chi shade, super gorgeous. And I'm gonna be playing with a couple different lip liners just because this is, like I said, like an orange shade but I do love a contour lip, so I'm gonna be doing an orange and a red lip liner. I'm just gonna use the ColourPop Lip Pencil in the shade Overtime. It's a really pretty deep red. I'm gonna actually apply it on first, blend it in with a brush, and then from there, I'm gonna apply the lip color. All right guys, that concludes this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see the eyes, and the skin, the lips. It's a really, really gorgeous look and I'm so happy that I sat down to film this. If you guys liked it, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you guys love affordable drugstore videos, also be sure to let me know. I feel like I still need to tap into more products. So if there's something that you guys think I definitely need to try and pick up, I will pick up. I love finding new products and you guys always are the plug for that. So feel free to leave it down in the comments below. With that said guys, have a great rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.